In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the company of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. we offer this holy cross celebration for your intentions to be fulfilled on today's our topic is immaculate mary empowered to overcome enemy jesus christ gives a new commandment in matthew chapter 5 verse 44 but i say to you love your enemy bless that calls you and do good to them and pray for them and exactly jesus christ put into practice in his lifetime on the cross saying lord forgive them for they do not know what they are doing are we ready to forgive our enemies are we ready to overcome and also dear brothers and sisters let us acknowledge our losses in the past and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my faults, through my faults, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray, Grand Lord God, that we, your servants, may rejoice in unfailing health of mind and body, and through the glorious intercession of Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, we may be set free from present sorrow and come to enjoy eternal happiness through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the first letter of Saint Paul to the Corinthians. The Spirit reaches the depths of everything, even the depths of God. After all, the depths of a man. 
can only be made known by his own spirit, not by any other man. And in the same way, the depths of God can only be known by the spirit of God. Now instead of the spirit of the world, we have received the spirit that comes from God to teach us to understand the gifts that he has given us. Therefore, we teach not in the way in which philosophy is taught, but in the way that the Spirit teaches us. We teach spiritual things spiritually. An unspiritual person is one who does not accept anything of the Spirit of God. He sees it all as nonsense. It is beyond his understanding because it can only be understood by means of the Spirit. A spiritual man, on the other hand, is able to judge the value of everything and his own value is not to be judged by any other men. As scripture says, Who can know the mind of the Lord? So who can teach him? But we are those who have the mind of Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. For the psalm, our response will be, The Lord is just in all his ways. together. The Lord is just in all his ways. The Lord is kind and full of compassion, slow to anger, abounding in love. How good is the Lord to all, compassionate to all his creatures. Response. The Lord is in all his ways. All your creatures shall thank you, O Lord, and your friends shall repeat their blessing. They shall speak of the glory of your reign and declare your might, O God, to make known to men your mighty deeds and the glorious splendor of your reign. Response The Lord is just in all his ways. Yours is an everlasting kingdom. Your rule lasts from age to age. The Lord is faithful in all his words and loving in all his deeds. The Lord supports all who fall and raises all who are borrowed down. Your response? The Lord is just in all his ways. Kindly stand as we prepare our hearts for the gospel. A great prophet has appeared among us. God has visited his people. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory be to you, O Lord. Jesus went down to Capernaum, a town in Galilee, and taught them on the Sabbath. 
and his teachings made a deep impression on them because he spoke with authority. In the synagogue, there was a man who was possessed by the spirit of an unclean devil, and it shouted at the top of his voice, Ha! What do you want with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. But Jesus said sharply, Be quiet, come out of him. And the devil, throwing the man down in front of everyone, went out of him without hurting him at all. Astonishment seized them, and they were all saying to one another, What teaching? He gives orders to unclean spirits with authority, and the power, and they come out. And reports of him went all through the surrounding countryside. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, the king was now old and wanted to hand over his kingdom to his sons. So he took them to a cliff where his kingdom ended. Showing ahead of them, he said to them, Look, what lies ahead belongs to your uncle and your cousins. What lies behind is what we have. What do you have to say about our kingdoms? The first son came forward and he gazed at the kingdom that belonged to his uncles and cousins. He saw the vast grasslands. He saw the high towers of their palaces. He saw the villages with homes and chimneys as smoke coming out of them. He saw the army camped at the distance. And then he looked behind at his kingdom, the small villages in the hills, the small palaces which they had. And he said to his dad, filled with anger and jealousy, when I become a king, I will get what we deserve. That uncle is your younger brother and he doesn't deserve so much. We need to expand our kingdom and show them that we are mighty. The other son came forward, gazed at the kingdom of his uncle and cousins. He saw the vast grasslands. He saw the towers of their palaces. He saw the villages with homes and chimneys with smoke coming out of them. He saw the army camped at a distance and he looked behind at his kingdom. The smaller villages being in the hills, no grasslands, so to say. And he said to his father, taking a deep breath, We can only thank God for what our uncle has achieved. But when I look behind at our kingdom, I see our villages are very small. But being in the hills, we can't help but to keep them that way. We see the grasslands in our uncle's kingdom, but they are watered by the rivers which start into our kingdom. We see that God has blessed him and we can thank God for that blessing. But when I look at home, when I look at our kingdom, I can only feel at home and thank God for what we have. My dear brothers and sisters, this could be a situation at many times. Many times we might have felt envious about people because they have done better in their career. We might have felt envious about people because people are appreciating them much more than us even though we had put hard work. We get envious about people who may be doing better in their studies. We might get envious about people because they look more attractive than what I look. And situations like these bring out that one son who appreciated yet sought that he wanted to grab on. These two brothers reside into our lives. Those two attitudes come out of us when we are envious or in a situation when we have taken control of the envy we have about others. Envy can lead us to destructive behavior. 
We can look forward for the downfall of a person when envy has taken over our lives. My dear brothers and sisters, the scriptures put a light on this destructive behavior of envy. In the scriptures, in the first book of the Bible, we hear the story of Cain and Abel. Cain kills Abel because he was envious and jealous of him. For God had accepted the sacrifice of Abel. We see Joseph and his brothers. Joseph, the young one, is sold to the merchants because they were envious about him. We see Saul and David. People praise David after he has killed Goliath. And Saul is envied and he wants to kill David and do away with him. We see the same thing when our Lord Jesus Christ has to die on the cross because they were envied of him as crowd followed him and listened to him. My dear brothers and sisters, what do we do when the feeling of envy enters our life? I give you three important things which you can do to control envy. The first thing is acknowledge your problem. It takes a lot of guts to do that. Say that I am envious. It's only when you do and accept the problem, your eyes will be open to the reality and you will understand and ask yourself, why am I envious about someone? Is it just because I am not capable as that person is? Is it just because he has achieved much more than him? Or is there something within me where I have not put effort into things? Is it something because of me that I have a low esteem about myself and I have accepted that to be the reality and stayed where I am? When I accept my problem, I understand where I stand. I understand the reason why I get envious about people and with that I begin the journey of myself. My dear brothers and sisters, this arose among his disciples. There was a debate between them about who is the greatest. And Jesus brings a small child in the midst of them and says to them, Whoever among you wants to be the greatest must first be the least of them. There is nothing wrong, my dear brothers and sisters, when we don't perform just like the other person. There is nothing wrong when I don't do much just like the other person. Have I done enough and am I satisfied with what I have done? My dear brothers and sisters, this brings us to the second point. We need to approach ourselves with humility. We need to be humble in addressing this problem. Pride can take us nowhere. The pomp and glory of the world can show us that we may be successful. All that we have achieved can be a sign and or a yardstick for the society to judge whether I am a successful person. But is that what success is all about? Success is not what I have achieved. Success is what this achievement has turned me into. Have I become more approachable? Being achieved what I have, have I become more accessible to the people who are less fortunate? Having achieved what I have achieved in my life, have I been able to accept my failures? My dear brothers and sisters, this needs a lot of humility. If I have not become humble, I have not gained anything. Because the word of God says, Blessed are the humble, for they shall inherit the earth. In the third place, my dear brothers and sisters, we come to the antidote of the sin which we are dealing with. And the antidote of the sin which we are dealing today is the attitude to be grateful. We need to count the blessings. We might have seen and we ourselves must have appreciated the beautiful sunset, what God has created, the birds and the song which is so soothing to our ears. The colorful flowers which are feast for our eyes. And while we have enjoyed this creation of God, we have thanked him for what he has created. Yet, 
we need to thank God for the blessings he blesses us with. Human being is also part of his creation. And God blesses us with tremendous gifts that we can achieve in our lives. And when a person has achieved something using the gifts of God, he has perfected the creation of God. And in that sense, we need to appreciate God for the gifts he has blessed with, especially for the person whom we are envious about. We can see in him through his successes that the plan of God is coming alive. The attitude of that person doesn't matter. The very fact that he has utilized his graces, his blessings, and he has achieved something is a reason for us to appreciate God and say, God, we are happy. In the second place, appreciate and count the blessings which God has given us. When we retire every day, when we go back to our bed, Always recollect and thank God for the blessings you have received during the day. Because God blesses us uniquely. He has a different plan for all of us. We cannot be the same as the other. But I have to appreciate the plan which God has for me and the blessing he has blessed me with. Every day if we count our blessings, we will be more and more appreciative of what God has for each one of us. My dear brothers and sisters, Mary, our mother, is an example of this. We see her singing the praises of God in the Gospel of St. Luke in the Magnificat. My soul glorifies the Lord, she says and continues. What has she done in that hymn? She has praised God for what God has done through her. That he has brought down the mighty and raised the poor. He has filled the hungry with good things. He sends the rich away empty. That is what God did through her son. Today in the gospel we have heard that a person with a demon had been redeemed. Those words which he spoke, people were astonished by those words. Because it was God who was talking to his people. It was God who had come to the aid of those who were in need. That was the summary of God, what God had done, which we see in the hymn of our Blessed Mother. My dear brothers and sisters, Immaculate Mary empowered to overcome envy. We can be envious at any point. But do we have the courage, trusting in the help of God, to come out of envy? Do we have the courage to appreciate God in the person, especially the one whom we envy about? Do we have the courage? Are we empowered enough by the Spirit that we can take control of our lives and say, Lord, with your help, I will overcome. My dear brothers and sisters, as we reflect on our lives today, let like Mary, we too may have a song of praise to God. That every day when we count our blessings, we sing to God and say, My soul glorifies the Lord. Amen. Our Fitri hymn, Look Upon Our Offering. Brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name. 
for our good and for the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we ask the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings that through the intercession of Blessed Mary, the mother of your son, no petitions may go unanswered, no request may be made in vain through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise and bless and glorify your name in veneration of the Blessed Ever Virgin Mary, for by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, a dominion adore, and powers stumble before you. Heaven and virtues of heaven, on the blessed seraphim, worship together with exaltation. May our voice, we pray, join with this in humble praise as we acclaim. You are indeed holy alone, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, the gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At that time he was betrayed and he entered willingly to his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and the resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in our presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, 
we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit remember lord your church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity to give the francis our pope also all gracious our bishop and all the bishops and the clergy and all those who love and serve your church remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection and all who have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face have mercy on us all we pray and with the blessed virgin mary mother of god our lady of velancani with blessed joseph her spouse with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages we may merit to be coherent to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your son jesus christ through him and with him and in him o god almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever For the Savior's command found by His divine teaching, we date to say, "Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be Thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil." Deliver us, Lord. We pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace and order, that with the help of Your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait the blessed hope on the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and, and the glory are Yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, "Peace I leave you, My peace I give you." Look not on our sins, but on the faith of Your church. and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance to her will who lives and reigns forever and ever amen. amen the peace of the lord be with you always and with your spirit let us all for each other the sign of peace lamb of god you take, take away the sins, the sins of the world, of the world. Have, have mercy on us, on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world blessed are those who call to the supper of the lamb lord i am not worthy that you should enter into my roof but only say the word and my soul shall be healed now we make a prayer in order to receive the lord spiritually my jesus i believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament i love you above all things and i desire to receive you into my soul 
since i cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally come at least spiritually into my heart i embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you never permit me to be separated from you amen let us pray as we receive this heavenly sacrament we beseech you alone you are mercy that we who rejoice in commemorating the blessed virgin mary may by imitating her serve worthily the mystery of our redemption through christ our lord amen, amen. navina prayer to our lady of velangani o most holy, holy virgin you were chosen to be the mother, mother of jesus permit me you are devoted friend to praise you for this unique privilege o tender mother and comforter of the afflicted grant me the special protection which you have promised to those who venerate you remaining on the infinite mercy of your divine son trusting on his promises that those who ask for receiving and penetrated with the confidence in your powerful intercession i am most humbly entreat you to obtain for me the favors which i petition for in this novena if it is the holy will of god or else whatever graces i must stand in need of let us pray for all our spiritual and temporal favors for good health and comfort for the sick and suffering in hospitals and in our homes for peace and understanding in our families between husband and wife parents and children for a happy settlement in marriage for occasions to priesthood and religious for accommodation for shelter and relief to the poor and marginalized for the gift of children for self confinement for success in studies for employment for promptations promotions for cure from drugs all alcoholism and other addictions let us make our own personal petitions and thanksgivings in the veneration of the love and joy with which your heart was replenished when the word was made flesh in your womb i offer you the sentiments of my heart hail mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of womb jesus holy, holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of womb jesus holy, holy mary, mary mother, mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of womb jesus holy, holy mary, mary mother, mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you among women and bless thee the fruit of womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of from Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of from Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of from Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. O Mother of God, accept these salutations in union with the veneration with which the angel Gabriel first held you full of grace. I wish most sincerely that this may become so many gems in the crown of your celestial glory. Mother Mary, to keep me soul and body weak and confined, toiling, resting, walking, sleeping, be ever at our side, cares that vex us, joys that please us, life and death we trust in you. You make us all for Jesus and for all eternity. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go for the Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Our final hymn, Star of the Ocean. Star.